So we've completed our rear grip of our EVA split grip assembly and we're ready to install our reel seat. Now you'll notice that the inside diameter of your reel seat is actually too big to fit securely on the rod blank. Now to correct that, we'll actually create tape arbors to center that reel seat on the rod blank itself. When you're ready to do this, we're gonna identify the mark that we made earlier that is the top of our reel seat and we're actually gonna space out three separate rod arbors on the blank. Now the first one you want to pull away about a quarter of an inch from the top of that mark. You don't want to go out past the reel seat because then it'll obviously stick out beyond where the reel seat's mounting. You want to do one about a quarter inch away from the edge of your rear grip. And then you'll also want to make one directly in the center. So now that I've laid out those marks, I'm going to go ahead and build up the diameter to match the inside diameter of my reel seat so that it fits securely. So we're finishing up our tape arbors and before we actually start to apply epoxy, we just want to double check the reel seats fit one more time. You don't want to have to force the seat over the arbors and you also don't want that to be too loose allowing for any play. So it looks like we're all set. So before we're actually ready to lay down some more epoxy, we want to take a little preventative step and just cover up these threads on the front of the reel seat. This will prevent any of our pro paste from getting in there and potentially creating problems later on. So we're all set. I'm going to go ahead now and take some of our pre-mixed pro paste and I'm going to apply a very liberal amount over top of all of the tape arbors. I'm not being particularly neat. I want to make sure and get a large amount of epoxy filling all the voids in so that it makes constant contact with the reel seat and the rod blank. <clears throat> Don't worry about doing too much excess because any, any overflow will just spill out the back and we can clean that up later. So now that we're ready, we're going to go ahead and slide our reel seat over top of our arbors. Once we make contact with the epoxy, you want to go ahead and spin the rod blank as you go. This will distribute any of the epoxy into those voids. And it looks like we put just the perfect amount. Just a little bit of excess is going to push out that end. And we're going to just take some of our paper towels with some of our isopropyl alcohol and clean that off. So now we're actually ready to go ahead and install our foregrip. The same process as we did with our rear grip, we're going to slide it in place to where it stops. A little bit more epoxy to the front of our reel seat. So now we're going to go ahead and rotate that grip as we slide it down in place. And before you peel out that last piece of tape, take your paper towel with some more isopropyl and clean off that excess. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that tape that was protecting our threads from the epoxy. And the last thing before we set this and let this cure is we're going to take our reel seat and realign it with that spine mark we made earlier. The final step in our split grip EVA assembly is going to be installing the winding check. This is a trim piece that will just finish off the front foregrip. So all we need to do is actually just slide this in place. And with a little bit of excess epoxy from the install of the foregrip, that will sit right there and that's it. We're done. We'll let this handle cure and then we'll move on to wrapping.